Jai Jai Radha Madhava Kunja Bihari Radha Madhava Kunja Bihari Janavala Bagiri Vada Dadi Kopi Janavala Bagiri Vada Dadi Yashodanandana Brajajana Ranjana Yashodanandana Brajajana Ranjana Yamuna Tira Vanachade Yamuna Tira Vanachari Vanachari Jaya Radha Madhava Kunjabi Kunjabi Hari Jaya Radha Madhava Kunjabi Hari All glories to the assembled devotees, all glories to the assembled devotees, all glories to the assembled devotees, all glories to Shri Guru and Shri Guranga. No, it's all right. Srimad Bhagavatam, 7th Canto, Chapter 14, Ideal Family Life, Text 35. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Devarshi Arhatsu Vai Satsu Tatra Brahma Jadishu Rajan Yad Agra Pujayam Mataha Patra Achutaha Devashyar su vaisat su Brahma majadishu Rajan yet agrapu jayam Mata patra tayachutaha Devashyar 
Tatrabhadishu Rajan Yat Agrapu Dayam Patra Yachutaha Devashyar Yatsu Vaisatsu Tatrabhama Majadishu Rajan Yad Agrapu Jayam Mata Patra Yachutaha Word by word, Deva Rishi, among the demigods and great saintly persons, including Narada, Narada Muni, Arhatsu, the most venerable and worshipful personalities, Vai, indeed, Satsu, the great devotees, Tatra, there, at the Raja Suyas Yagya. Brahma Jadishu and the sons of Lord Brahma, such as Sanaka, Sanandana, Sana, and Sanatana. Rajan, O King, yet from whom Agrapujayam, the first to be worshipped. Mataha, decision. Patra, Taya, selected as the best person to preside over the Raja Suya Yagya. Achuttaha Krishna. Translation and purport by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. O King Yudhishthir, the demigods, many great sages and saints, including even the, including even the four sons of Lord Rama, and myself were present at your Rajasuya sacrificial ceremony. But when there was a question of who should be the first person worshipped, everyone decided upon Lord Krishna, the Supreme Person. Purport. This is a reference to the Rajasuya sacrifice performed by Maharaj Yudhishthir. In that meeting, there was, a, there was a great turmoil over selecting the best person to be worshipped first. Everyone decided to worship Sri Krishna. The only protest came from Shishupal, and because of his vehement opposition, he was killed by the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Om 
Om Magyana Tivananda Sya Gananjana Shalaka Ya Chakshuvan Bhagatam Yena Tasmai Shri Gurveno Ha Pukham Kalita Vacha Lampungam Ramangari Tegrinda Kripatam Ram Vande Shri Gurinda Dutanaram Vaan Chaka Padri Bishcha Kripasan Dibhi Vacha Patitanam Pavane Bhyo Vaishnava Bhyo Namo Namaha Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhunityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhar Shivasri Guru Bhaktivinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Is there is there a Krishna book in that? Uh, mm-hmm. Maybe not. Hmm? You know where one is? Somewhere? Okay. Krishna was criticized by Shishupal many times. Does anyone remember his particular uh, when he was born? Because there was an idea that he was going to be a, going to be a, a criticizer of Krishna. Does anyone remember that? Does anyone remember that? Um, Shishupal, when he was born, he was it was like predicted he was going to be a, a criticizer. Yeah, he had a certain number, a hundred. And then when, when the hundredth offense came, then, um, then the chakra would come also. So, um... So yeah, he was <laughs> he was born to criticize others. He was expert at it, expert at criticizing Krishna. And uh, and literally, he was born for that because because as we know, in his previous lives, who was he? Yeah, he was he was Jai and Vijay, one of them. Not sure which one, but he was Jai or Vijay. And and in that particular point, uh, Jai and Vijay, they're regarding the the gates of heaven, not the gates of heaven, but the gates of Vaikuntha, wasn't heaven, better than heaven. Um, and the four sons of Lord Brahma came, four Brahmachari boys, the Kumaras, they came, sages, who were ancient personalities and most senior respectable respected personalities brahmavadis they weren't full on bhaktas but they came and they wanted to see lord vishnu and then jay and vijay said y- you can't come in and uh, the four the four kumaras they were upset with this and vishnu was hearing some some ruckus out there at, at the gate so he came out and uh, there was this whole conversation between Vishnu and, and Jai and Vijay and, and the four Kumaras. And the four Kumaras uh, cursed the Jai and Vijay to come to the material world. And the, the, the idea was that they were given a choice. What was the choice? What was it? Yeah. But how many lives each one? Demon. They had a choice. They could, they could come back as demons for three lives, or they could they could come to the material world as devotees for seven lives. So they picked. We'll come as demons, or it was decided they'll come as demons for three lives. Um, and those demons are Ravana. Right, and Kumbhakarna. We need Sureshvara here for this one. Kumbhakarna, Ravana and Kumbhakarna, and we and Shushupal and Dantavakra, and um, what was the last one? Hiranyakashipu and Ranyaksha. Yeah, it wasn't the last one. It wasn't in that order. But um, so 
So yeah, Shishupal literally he was born to criticize. <laughs> That's why he came to the material world. He came to the material world to literally be a demon. So he was literally born in the material world to criticize. Uh, sometimes seeing people, you think that they might be born to criticize too, right? So some people are really good at it. <laughs> like, man, he's a really good, he's a really good critic. And yeah, I mean, in some ways, being born in this material world, it's you're like bo we're like born to criticize. We're born to, we're born to. Uh, Hey Krishna in, in in material existence. So, but Shishupal, he was the topmost example of this, born to hate Krishna. Uh, and this is in the tenth canto, described in the tenth canto, uh, this particular pastime where Krishna was being uh, offended by Shishupal. So we'll just take a quick look. Of that. So let's just read some of his uh let's just read some of his criticisms here. All right. In that meeting, King Shushupa was also present. He was an avowed enemy of Krishna for many reasons, especially because of Krishna's having stolen Rukmini from his intended marriage ceremony. Right, because Rukmini, she was in love with Krishna. And how did she fall in love with Krishna? Yeah, she she just heard about Krishna. She she never met him, but she fell in love by hearing about him. So that's a that's a clue. That's an idea for, for devotees who want to fall in love with Krishna, they should hear. So she fell in love with them and she sent a message to him, please save me. They're going to marry me to Shishupa. And, and there's a whole pastime how Krishna came and he saved her. So that was one of the reasons that Shushapa was an enemy of Krishna. Therefore, he could not tolerate such honoring of Krishna and glorification of his qualities. Instead of being happy to hear the glories of the Lord, he became very angry. When everyone offered respect to Krishna by standing up, so everybody stood up in the assembly, they all stood up to offer respect to Krishna. And what did he do? He remains sit seating, <laughs> sitting. Everybody stood up and Shushapal just remained sitting. <laughs> but as he became angry at Krishna's being honored, he stood up suddenly. So everybody was standing up and he was sitting there. And then he kept on hearing the glorification, then he just stood up angrily. Yeah. And raised his hand and spoke very strongly. So you can imagine he raised his hand. He spoke very strongly and fearlessly against Lord Krishna in such a way that Lord Krishna could hear him distinctly. So very loud and clear, Shushupa was offending him in the assembly. Ladies and gentlemen, I can appreciate now the statement of the Vedas that, after all, time is the predominating factor. In spite of all endeavors to the contrary, the time element executes its own plan without opposition. For example, one may try his best to live, but when the time for death comes, no one can check it. I see here that although many stalwart personalities are present in this assembly, the influence of time is so strong that they have been misled by the statement of a boy who has a who has foolishly spoken about Krishna. Many learned sages and elder persons are present, but still they have accepted the statement of a foolish boy. 
This means that by the influence of time, even the intelligence of such honored persons as those present in this meeting can be misdirected. So he's been, Krishna's been chosen as the, as the most honorable person in, in the assembly. And Shushupal is saying, despite there being so many learned people here, I could see that by the, by, the, by the factor of time, they've all lost their intelligence and accepted this statement that Krishna is the best. I could see they're all foolish. I fully agree with the respectable persons present here that they are competent to select the personality who can be worshipped first. But I cannot agree with the statement of a boy like Sahadev, who has spoken so highly about Krishna and has recommended that Krishna is fit to accept the first worship and the sacrifice. I can see that in this meeting there are many great personalities who have undergone great austerities, who are highly learned and who have performed many penances. By their knowledge and direction, they can deliver many persons who are suffering. I cannot understand how you have selected this cowherd boy, Krishna, and have left aside all these great personalities. I think Krishna to be no better than a crow. Crows, I mean, crows are very uh, unclean birds. Uh, they'll they'll dig through any trash and eat any trash i mean they'll just eat anything it's just really disgusting actually birds uh, uh what they uh, these crows and they're not seen to be in clean places and they're not seen to be beautiful it's not that for example uh people get stained glass they get stained glass windows they get stained glass doors they get stained glass uh, things and they hang them in their house, but I've never seen s stained glass with crows in it. You know, they get stained glass with peacocks and and uh, swans and parrots. There's no crows, so they're not seen to be a very beautiful bird. And they make that noise. Well, what's that noise they make, Sankarsha? You know, you're not good at that. not a very pleasant noise <laughs> yeah so 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 Shusha Paul said he's no better than a crow so it's a, it's 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 quite offensive you compare Krishna to a crow I mean the Paramahamsas the, they're they're compared to like a swan you know very clean lake and you know they could separate milk from water take the essence of things and you know chewing on the lotus stems and so on and it's a very beautiful place not considered to be like crows so he said he's no better than a crow so how can he be fit to accept the first worship in this great sacrifice we cannot even ascertain which caste this krishna belongs to or what his actual occupational duty is actually krishna does not belong to any caste nor does he have to perform any occupational duty. This is Prabhupada's statement. Shushapal continued, Krishna does not belong to a high family. He is so independent that no one knows his principles of religious life. Indeed, it appears that he is outside the jurisdiction of all religious principles. He always acts independently, not caring for the Vedic injunctions and regulative principles. Therefore, he is devoid of all good qualities. Under these circumstances, how can he be fit to accept the first worship and the sacrifice? Krishna is so foolish that he has left Mathura, which is inhabited by highly elevated persons following the Vedic culture, and has taken shelter in the ocean, where there's not even talk of the Vedas. Instead of living openly, he has constructed a fort within the water and is living in a place where there's no discussion of Vedic knowledge. So these are the type of demons in the Bhagavatam. So there's no discussion of Vedic knowledge. <laughs> And whenever he comes out of the fort, he simply harasses the citizens like a dacoit, thief, or rogue. So he's calling them a crow, a thief, a rogue, a dacoit. He has, he's not from a high family. Shushapo went crazy because of Krishna's being elected the supreme. 
first worship person in that meeting, and he spoke so irresponsibly that it appeared that he lost all his good fortune. Being overcast with misfortune, Shishapal continued to insult Krishna, and Lord Krishna patiently heard him without protest. Yeah. <laughs> Just as a lion does not care when a flock of jackals howl, Sri the Prabhupada will quote that sometimes when 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 devotees are criticized, Sri the Prabhupada would say, Oh, um, the dogs bark, but the caravan passes by. No problem. Lord Krishna remained silent and un unprovoked. Krishna did not reply to even a single accusation made by Shishupal. But all the members present in that meeting, except for a few who agreed with Shushupal, were very much agitated. Some of them who thought that they could not properly take action against Shushupal left the assembly in protest, covering their ears with their hands in order not to hear further acquisition, accusations. So that's one thing. When we hear the, the criticism of Krishna or the devotees, uh, one option which won't get you into jail, is that you should just leave the place. You know, there, there might be other options recommended in Vedic literature, but that's not, it's not really supposed to be done these days because you go to jail. <laughs> you know what those recommend? <laughs> yeah, so, so you could just leave the place. You could defeat the person by your words. You could leave the place or you could go to jail. <laughs> but best if you just defeat the person or you leave the place. Um, and if you don't leave the place, if we don't leave the place, what happens? It says, if he does not do so, he becomes bereft of his pious activities and is degraded to a lower condition of life. All right, so just a little more. All the great kings present belonging to the Kru dynasty, Matsya dynasty, Kaikaya dynasty and Shinjai dynasty were very angry and immediately took up their swords and shields to kill Shushupal, who was so foolish that he was not even slightly agitated. Although all the kings present were ready to kill him, Shushupal did, not, Shushupal did not care to think of the pros and cons of his foolish talking, and instead of stopping when he saw that all the kings were ready to kill him, he stood to fight with them and took up his sword and shield. When Lord Krishna saw that they were going to fight in the arena of the auspicious Rajasuya Yaga, he personally pacified them. Out of his causeless mercy, he himself decided to kill Shushupal. When Shushupal was abusing the kings who were about to attack him, Lord Krishna took up his disc, as sharp as the blade of a razor, and immediately separated Shushupal's head from his body. When Shushupal was thus killed, a great roar and howl went up from the crowd, Taking advantage of that disturbance, the few kings who were supporters of Shushupal quickly left the assembly out of fear of their lives. <laughs> They're like, I'm out of here. The, then the fortunate Shushupal spirit soul immediately merged into the body of Lord Krishna in the presence of all, exactly as a burning meteor falls to the surface of the globe. The merging of Shushupal's soul into the transcendental body of Krishna reminds us of the story of Jayan Vijay, who fell to the material world from the Vaikuntha planets upon being cursed by the four Kumaras. For the return to Vaikuntha world, it was arranged that both Jayan Vijay, for three consecutive births, would act as deadly enemies of the Lord, and at the end of these lives they would return to Vaikuntha world, to the Vaikuntha world, and serve the Lord as his associates. So, uh, that's the liberation of Shushupal. So this is what Srila Prabhupada's mentioned in the purport, how there was a Rajasuya sacrifice performed by Maharaj Yudhishthira. In that meeting, there was a great turmoil over selecting the best person to be worshipped first. So Krishna was selected. Shushupal didn't like that. He hated that. He was an enemy of Krishna, born to hate Krishna. And because of that, uh, he was killed by the Supreme Personality of Godhead. But he was liberated. So whenever... Whenever someone is killed by Krishna, they're liberated, they're benefited. So, yeah, it's a it's a win-win. They, they got to criticize and they're liberated. 
But the difference between Shishupal and us is if we criticize Krishna or his devotees, which actually Krishna doesn't, Krishna, uh, out of the two, Krishna hates criticism of the devotees more. He takes that more seriously. The examples given of you may be able to tolerate the sun on your head, but you can't tolerate the, the, the sun means the heat. Like, for example, you might be walking barefoot in the heat and um, there's, there's uh, walking through like asphalt or whatever, and it's so hot, you could, or sand, let's say sand, it's so hot you can't tolerate it. But you may you be able to tolerate on your head easier. So similarly, the devotees who are situated at the lotus feet of Krishna, uh, Krishna takes that that he he can't he, he has a hard time tolerating that. So the difference between Shushupa and ourselves is if we criticize uh, devotees or yeah, uh, pointlessly criticize devotees for no good reason and with no um, intention of helping and so on, then we're just, um, we won't be liberated, that's for sure. <laughs> Whereas Shishapal, he criticized and he was liberated. So it's a bit of a special case. Does anybody have any question or comment? this already but my little special comment is that his special case is that he's Jai or Bij. Yes. <laughs> Very special case. <laughs> Jai and Vijay. Yes. Hare Krishna, thank you. Thank you. Um, as I remember that uh, <coughs> uh, Jai Vijay um, no, I, I heard that uh, they agree uh, to take uh, these uh, sinful births um, because of um, Krishna wanted to fight. Yes. So they um, go by this desire, Krishna, to satisfy it. And uh, also, no, this explanation, like you, like you mentioned, that uh, they wanted to, how to say, go fast to this material world and back. Yeah. I, I, I thought I remember hearing or reading and discussing um, how, how, yeah, I mean, this idea that Krishna, he, 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 wants, he wanted to fight because just like the fighting spirits within us, yeah. so similarly it's in, within God, within Vishnu. But Vishnu is in a, in a <laughs> I don't want to say he's in a tough situation, but <laughs> not, yeah, none of the Vaikuntha... Vasi is the residence of Akunta. They're not even going to think about wrestling with, with Vishnu. That's just, that's completely out of the um, question. So, yeah, he made some arrangement. Okay, I need to get some good fighters. So I'll, I'll send some of my own men, and then, you know, they'll be covered by this ignorance. There'll be real demons, and it'll be, you know, just like that. It's also interesting. Um, uh thoughts uh, about this material world um, that um, for Krishna, like we know from uh, Srila Prabhupada purpose, that um, all energies of Krishna for, for him is the same. Like for us, material energy like uh, not good, but spiritual energy good. Um, but for Krishna the same is, uh, and so I also heard that um, when Krishna comes here, uh, he comes here only like uh, to manifest some lilas, some pastimes. Uh, this is like uh, like uh, continuous uh, of his pastimes in Vaikuntha or Galok or sometimes hell, no, like this. So if we see on this world like this, it's the same. Uh, we you know we can. Um, we can meet Krishna here in yeah. this in this world. We, yeah. we can try to recognize uh, his hand, like uh, blue hand. Yeah, 
So, no, this is a little different uh, vision of yeah. this world when we have this connection. Yeah, the material creation is is a leela of Krishna. Uh, of course, it's not absolutely necessary, the material creation. I, was, I mean, it's necessary because there's people who want to forget Krishna, but ultimately it's not necessary. Um but the creation of it is 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 a leela of Krishna. Um, of course, if one is not Krishna conscious and they're living in the material creation, then yeah, it's definitely not a leela for them because, as we know, there's a lot of suffering in it. Um, but 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 what's nice to meditate on is that Srila Prabhupada would or he had sometimes said that. That the Hare Krishna movement and 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 the activities of the Hare Krishna movement—it's a continuation of Chaitanya Lila, Lord Chaitanya's Lila, the Hare Krishna movement. So that's so we're participating in Lila like that way. Of course, we have to fine tune our uh, consciousness, right? Like Prabhupada would say, okay, you're you have like a, like a radio, you know, old-fashioned radio. Even when you go into cars nowadays, you have to, you know. Tune if you want to listen to the radio or whatever. You have to tune, or else you're just going to get a lot of static, Shh, right? But then if you tune, 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 then okay, you get some clear voice, some clear message, messages going on, some cr clear Christian uh, <laughs> music going on. Sometimes devotees say, "Say I didn't have any kirtans and I was falling asleep, so I just." You know, tune the radio, I got some Christian music. I did that. Anyways, uh, yeah. Hare Krishna. So when uh, Jivatma attains a spiritual a world like Vaikuntha, um, they're not supposed to fall back down. How, how do you explain that regarding Jai and Vijay? Well, Javita Prabhu would quote... Uh, Many times the saying, once burned, twice shy. So, in other words, if you, if you have been in material existence and been burned, you know, well, not just once, but many times, then, uh, it, yeah, then you're, then you're less likely to, to fall again. Or make the same mistake, or make a yeah, yeah, make the same mistake. So that's that's the idea. In other words, you, you learn your lesson. Um, just like if you look at material existence, okay, it's like a jail or a prison house. Uh, you go there because of um, because of some mistake you've made, but then learning then you're out. And then once you're out, you're like, all right, well, I'm not going to do that again because that was just unnecessary and, you know, suffering, unnecessary suffering. So in a similar way, similar principle. Any other, uh, any online? Vijay? Okay. All right. Gantrachman Bhagavatam ki jash the Prabhupada ki jash.